hey guys welcome back to electrical point so guys in this video i will tell you about how to do the internal wiring of a switch board so you can see in our homes for uh, in each and every rooms we provide some uh, switch boards to control all the electrical equipments that are in our homes like our uh, plug point okay our lights or our fans so everything is turn on and turn off facilities provided in a switch board so you can see in your rooms okay these kind of switch boards are available okay so this is these are the switch like this way so your fuse your indicator okay everything is provided in in, the, in a switch board so i will basically tell you about how to do the internal wiring of this kind of switch boards okay so guys uh, before we're going to start the video let me tell you uh, if anyone is new to this channel please subscribe to electrical point and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get the notifications of these videos so guys let me start the video now so guys uh, first of all see to tell you the concept let me consider suppose uh, inside the room inside the room i have taken two fans okay two fans two lights let me take it as three lights okay and uh, one plug point plug point and one indicator so why this indicator is used basically so this indicator is uh, actually provided to check uh, the electricity is available or not okay if the electricity is available or the line is available then this indicator will blow the light and otherwise it will not blow the light so anyway so see so these are this is the suppose this is a switch board okay so what i have taken two fans suppose these are the two fans and you can see this is one light this is second light okay so this is actually what we uh, we have to do the wiring for so anyways if there are two fans so there will be two switches required to operate these two fans for these two lights two switches will be required and see uh, one plug point to control this plug point one switch will require and indicator there will no switch required for the indicator so how many switches we will need we will need uh, two two four and one plug point so we will need total of five switches okay so there will be five switches inside this switch board let me take this of bigger size so suppose this is the switch board okay so what you actually do always you always uh, give the switches for this fans separately because when we do the wiring for the fans we actually need also a fan regulator to control the speed of the fans okay so suppose uh, i will take the fan switches and regulator here so suppose uh, these two is provided for the fan one one is this regulator and other is the switch okay and these two are provided for the fan number two so this is the these are the regulators and these are the switches okay so see the uh, see it properly what i am doing and there is one plug point suppose this is the plug point okay and to operate this plug point one switch will be required so this is the switch for the plug point and you see there are two lights so simply we will put two switches for the two lights so these are the uh, switches uh, switches to uh, we have to consider in this switch board and above all the switches we will use a indicator suppose this is the indicator okay and to protect this switch board uh, switch board from any kind of short circuit we have to provide a fuse okay so why we use the fuse so fuse is actually used to protect the switch board so uh, inside the fuse there will be a fuse wire okay 
so that fuse will have the rating of the rating of carrying a fixed amount of current so when this current will be above that fixed amount then what will happen this fuse wire will break and it will uh, stop the current uh, current supply to this switchboard so suppose this is a fuse here okay so this is the fuse to protect the total switchboard so you can see this is our overall our uh, switchboard so we have to do the first the wiring so see to do the wiring what actually we do there are two wires always okay one is phase and one is the neutral so actually what happens neutral is always directly goes to the equipment there is no switch required to uh, connect the neutral we provide the switches only to stop the phase okay uh, so using the switch turn on and turn off we actually break the phase wire not the neutral wire so what will happen neutral will directly go to the equipments okay so there are four equipments here so we will provide the neutrals directly to the equipments okay so go, before going to going to see, see the neutral connection first of all see the connection of the phase wire so suppose these are the two wires one is the phase and one is the neutral so always you see your phase will first of all go to the fuse or uh, fuse okay so this will directly comes to the phase okay then after that it will go to the indicator because you see uh, when there will be uh, short circuit first of all our fuse have to fuse have to stop the supply to this switchboard so before this fuse uh, this phase wire going to the other switches it has to cross the fuse okay and after that it will go to the indicator then from indicator this wire will come okay so see this wire will come from the indicator and after going to the indicator you can take this wire to any switch okay it will first go to any switch you can connect the phase wire to any switch okay so first of all what we do we do actually uh, provide the phase or the line to any switch okay so that we can distribute the phase wire from that point okay suppose uh, I have connected the phase wire to this switch okay then what we will do we will distribute the phase from this to all the switches available in the board so see when I connect the phase wire to this point I will simply uh, short circuit the switches of the light you can see so phase is coming to the uh, switch of the plug point and after that it is going to the other switches of the lights okay and after connecting the lights we will do we will directly go to the fan regulators okay we will directly go to the fan regulators and uh, there will be two phase goes to the two fan regulators because uh, how many fans are here there are two fans here okay so we have to take two phase wire to the two fan regulators of the two fans okay then after going to the fan regulator the phase will go to the switch of the fan and this will also go to the switch of the fan so after that what will happen this phase wire will come to the fan okay this also will come to the fan and this wire goes to the light one and this wire will goes to the light two okay so what you can say oh, okay and one phase have, we have to provide to the plug point okay so you can see we have connected the phase wire in this switchboard now all the switches are give, are getting the line through the phase wire now our next task is to uh, provide the neutrals okay so what we will do we will now connect the neutral wires see how we do that so there will be uh, suppose this neutral is coming here okay and uh, you always remember we don't cut the neutral wire through the fuse okay we simply cut the uh, phase wire through the fuse so this neutral will goes to the plug point okay so we have given the plug point the neutral wire okay now after that you can see there will be one neutral for this light there will be the second neutral for this light and there will be other neutral for the fan and other for the fan too 
so you can see there are four neutral wires coming from the four uh, devices two fans and two lights now you can see we have to provide all these wires the neutral wire by, by how we can do that you can see neutral is coming to the plug point and after that we what we do we take the neutral wire from the plug point and we simply join all the wires we can join this neutral link by using insulating tap you can see so this joint always you do inside the switchboard you all join all the neutrals inside this switchboard using a insulating tap okay so this is simply how we do the uh, internal wiring of a switchboard and you see there is other point this big point you can see in your uh, boards always uh, switchboards in in the plug point there is a big hole at the top side okay this one so this one is always available for the grounding okay so this is always grounded okay suppose we are uh, connecting the tv plug in this plug point so whenever there will be body or the current in the whole tv okay there will be what happen excess of current in the in the tv so in that case if we touch the tv what will happen we will get the electric shock so to give the protection from there we give this ground wire here okay because when there will be body in the equipment the excess of current will flow through the through this ground wire to the earth directly so that is why we uh, provide this ground wire okay and one thing guys uh, instead of this fuse some electrician can use mcb also okay mcb sorry this is actually isolator some electricians use isolator also if you are using a isolator you have to provide both the phase and neutral through this isolator like this if this is the fuse and this is the neutral so this will go uh, phase and neutral both will go through the isolator then what will happen if the if this was the mcb then neutral will come here okay and then this neutral will go to the plug point here okay so then this wire will not here this wire will not here the neutral will go to the plug point through this isolator okay so this is how we can use uh, mcb instead of a fuse in a switchboard now i see i have made a clean diagram okay so this diagram is neat and clean and you can take a screenshot of this diagram for your future reference so you can see there are two wires phase and neutral phase is going to the fuse after that it is going to the indicator okay and after that the phase is coming to the switch of the plug point now the phase is available here so after that i have distributed the phase wire from to this fan regulator and after that uh, a switch suppose this is the switch for a light and this is the switch for a light too so then after from this switch okay it is going to the switch of the light too and you can see i am giving the neutral to the plug point directly here and these are the phase wires going to the fan light and light one and after that you can what happen the neutral will come from the equipment okay and you can join the join take a joint inside this board as i have shown in the previous diagram so guys you can take a screenshot of this diagram so guys this is all about uh, your internal wiring of a household switchboard so i hope you have understood the concept and you have uh, cleared all your doubts from this after seeing this video so guys thank you for watching so don't forget to subscribe to my electrical point channel and if you really like the video please share with your friends okay tell them to watch the videos so that i can also able to carry my videos like this way so see you in the next video till then be safe and take care